Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Mothering in Style, where I share my love for fashion, lifestyle and beauty and bring you along on my motherhood journey. Happy New Year, first video of 2022 and I'm feeling really excited, so let's get straight into it. So, what better way to start the new year than to declutter our wardrobe? I thought this would be a really good video to start off the new year so that we can just take a fresh look at our wardrobes with fresh eyes. Do those clothes still serve us? Do they still deserve to be there? Because what we're not going to do in 2022 is have things in our wardrobes that we don't actually wear or spend money buying things that we already have or that we don't need. So in order to just start off on a clean slate, I thought, let's do this video on decluttering our wardrobes. I was sharing on Instagram a few weeks ago that I was decluttering my wardrobe and I did a bit of a poll to find out if people declutter theirs and I was shocked at how many people said no and also the number of DMs that I got saying that people felt that they didn't know where to start. So this is just going to be a really quick, easy video on some of the steps that I take when I'm decluttering my wardrobe. So the number one thing to think of as you're decluttering your wardrobe is that your clothes should work for you. So I guess, to be honest, you should look at your clothes like employees. Are they pulling their weight? Are they worth it? Are you really getting the best out of them? You're the manager, they're the employees. If they're not pulling their weight, they gotta go. And the reason that I say that is because your clothes really should work for you. They should work for your lifestyle and you're effectively paying them. You're paying them in time when you're going through your wardrobe, trying to work out what to wear and you're having to wade through a load of things that you don't actually wear or like. You're paying them in emotions when you're putting things on that don't make you feel good and are making you feel like you need to lose weight or that you're not good enough or anything like that. And you're also just paying them in space, like they're taking up space in your house, in your room, in your wardrobe, all of those things. We don't want to be doing that. So you need to be seeing your return on investment, not only on what you pay for that item, but also the space they're taking up, the time they're taking up and all of that stuff. So that is the reason why we just want to declutter our wardrobes, be really clear. You don't wear clothes that you can't see. And that is something that is huge for me. If I can't see something in my wardrobe, if things are like really packed away, I'll forget that I even have them. So I think that is one thing that is really key is to make sure that you can actually see what you have. So I'm gonna tell you how I declutter my wardrobe in six easy steps. So number one, go through everything in your wardrobe and ask yourself the question, have I worn this in the past six months to a year? And the reason that we're given that bigger time frame is just to allow for any seasonality. So obviously knitwear, you might not have worn over the summer, but you know that you're gonna wear it in the winter, so on, so on. So that's always the starting point. And I exclude from that occasion wear, obviously things like dresses that I wear to weddings or to like a black tie event or anything like that are things that we know that we're not gonna get as much wear out of. But in terms of day-to-day -day clothing, have I worn it in the past six months to a year? Normally, if you have not worn something for a year, you don't like it. There's a reason why you don't wear that thing. Like it either doesn't make you feel good or it doesn't fit you or there's a reason why you don't wear it. So that is always my first starting point is to be really critical and ask myself those questions. If you find it overwhelming to go through your whole wardrobe, because this can take a really long time, then I would suggest starting off with just choosing to start off with your tops or your bottoms, then your outerwear, and you can do it in stages. But I really do recommend trying to go through as much of your wardrobe as possible because that will really help you to just be really critical and to look at everything as a whole. And is this working? Is it working for you? Is it not working for you? So step two is to identify why? What is the reason why you don't wear those clothes that you've already sectioned out from everything else? If you haven't worn something for a year, like I said, there's a reason why. It could just be that it no longer fits you, it no longer fits your lifestyle, it could be that it's just hard to get it on and off. Like I have things that I literally don't wear because putting it over my head is a struggle. And so that means that I just don't reach for it because I can't be bothered. And even just little reasons like that, there's normally a reason why you don't wear those things. And 
I think it's really helpful at this point to kind of try things on as well. Is it easy to style with the rest of your wardrobe? Is it that you actually have nothing to wear something else with? All of those reasons. And are they going to change anytime soon? If there's something there that you just think, you know what, every time I put that on, it makes me feel rubbish. That's probably not going to change anytime soon. And quite likely that is something that has got to go. Step number three, get rid of anything that no longer fits me. And this isn't just talking about your body. Anything that doesn't fit me in terms of size, but also anything that doesn't fit my lifestyle anymore. And I think this is something that sometimes we forget. Our lives obviously change over time. And if something no longer fits your lifestyle, chances are you aren't gonna wear it. So an example for me is that I used to go into an office every day, even though I was working in fashion, so it wasn't really a corporate job, but I still had clothes that really I saw as work clothes. And so now I don't, now that I no longer work in an office, I just don't wear those things anymore. And some of it is really good quality things, things that are still in good condition, but I just don't wear them anymore because they no longer fit my lifestyle. And I think even if you don't want to get rid of those things because you feel like you still love them or they still are things that you really like and are good quality, that just means that they just shouldn't be taking up space in your main wardrobe. So even if you choose to pack them away rather than actually getting rid of them, I still think it's worth it to just remove them from your day-to-day -day wardrobe, just in terms of space and just making that space clearer visually makes a huge difference. The other way things can also no longer fit is your personal style and I think that is something that really evolves over time. Most people no longer like don't dress the same way five years ago as they do today. So sometimes again there can be things that you even have that kind of emotional sentimental attachment to but they no longer fit your personal style. Your style has evolved and that is a great thing. So those things it's normally time to just let them go. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is to look at what we can save, donate, or sell. So in terms of save, that can be something as simple as there could be a coat that you don't wear because two of the buttons have come off. Just sew the buttons back on. You can either sew them back on yourself or take them to a tailor or to your dry cleaners that will put the buttons back on for you. Also, if there is just something, like when I was decluttering my wardrobe, I found a shirt dress that I bought in H&M last summer. I've never worn it. And that's because I find it really hard to style it as a dress. The skirt part is a bit too sheer to really wear it as a dress. And the reason that I bought it is because I absolutely love the sleeves. So that's something that I've taken out and I'm gonna to take to the tailor and I'm gonna get it cut into a shirt and just into a top because I think then I can wear it with jeans like I'm wearing today. And it'll just be a really simple, easy outfit for me. So if there are things that you can get tailored, even things that are maybe a slightly too big or you need the waist taken in, they're all ways of being able to like save those things in your wardrobe that you don't wear, but that you don't wanna get rid of. And there's a little reason as to why you don't wear them. So that's the stage that I love, is anything that I can save. Then donate, so things that you can either put in your like local charity, but I think what is even better than that is being able to give things to your family or to your friends, because that normally means that the, the life keeps going and they're more likely to get worn and less likely to end up in landfill than if you put them in like a donation box somewhere. And then finally, anything that you can sell. So definitely anything a bit more luxury or higher price items, but even your high street items are really easy to sell on platforms like Vinted. I identified when I was going through my wardrobe a few things that I've never worn or have hardly ever worn that I think that I'll be able to sell on Vinted or on eBay. So that's my plan for those things. And then it's a way of funding some of your newer purchases or gaps that you may see in your wardrobe that you want to fill. And then that way your wardrobe is paying for itself, which is really what we all want to get to. Okay, so the next step is the fun one. 
in my opinion, maybe it's just the buyer in me, but it's to organize your wardrobe by category. And this goes back to what I was saying earlier about the fact that you don't wear clothes that you can't see. So just being able to put everything in order, I like to kind of put it in a bit of a color order as well, but that might just be like a bit over the top. But even just something as simple as Put all your shirts together, put all your t-shirts together, all of your jeans together and it's just so much easier that on a morning when you don't have a lot of time or any time that you're just in a bit of a rush, it's really easy to know where to go to, you're able to see everything and you can just put things together really quickly. If you do have some extra time, I also really recommend just spend a bit of time with what you've decided to keep and putting some outfits together and being like, okay, I know this shirt works with those jeans, that skirt, those shorts. And again, you have those outfits in your mind so that when you don't have a lot of time, you just know quick, that's what I can put together. I know that I like the outfit. I know I feel good in it. I know that it makes me look put together. It looks like I've made loads of effort, but I haven't. Those are the looks that we love. So if you have the extra time, spend a little bit of time styling things, making sure that you feel good in what is left in your wardrobe. I personally don't recommend keeping things that you hope to fit back into and things like that. I just, I don't actually feel like that is that positive. Um, but if you feel that you really want to do that, my recommendation is keep it, but don't keep it in your actual wardrobe that you're in every day. Keep it in like a suitcase that you pack away or something like that, that you can go back to when you want to. But I think to open your wardrobe every day and see something that doesn't fit you, I think is a bit depressing. I just, I'm not here for that. So I would say keep it, but keep it somewhere else and just go through the things that fit you, make you feel great and put some outfits together so that you don't have to waste any time when you're getting ready. And then finally, just make sure that you prioritize your space. So when, like right now, we're in the middle of winter, Things like t-shirts and things I might wear in terms of layering and things like that, but they don't really deserve to be in like a priority space in my wardrobe. So at this time of year, I'll move them so that they're folded in another part of my wardrobe that I don't access as often. So that the things that I really need and that are kind of priority pieces for that season are near the front, are easy to see, are easy to pick out. So that would definitely be something girls, I think to just bear in mind in terms of where you position things in your wardrobe, what needs to be a priority for that season. I personally flip my wardrobe every season anyway, so I actually pack things out of my wardrobe and put them in a suitcase and then bring them out when I need them just because of the space that I have and I like to make sure that I'm not, like even just flicking past a summer dress every day, in the winter, it's just depressing. So I don't even wanna see it. So I'll just pack everything away and make sure that what I've got in my wardrobe at the front is everything that I really, really need and that I'm actually gonna use. Okay guys, that's it. I really hope this video was helpful. Let me know, do you declutter your wardrobe? Please tell me that you do because I'm sure that your wardrobe is crying out for a declutter. I think after you declutter it, it's just great to like rebuild your wardrobe, make a wish list of the things that you feel that you really need and to add into your wardrobe so that you're more focused in your shopping ahead. So if you'd like me to do a video on kind of like rebuilding your wardrobe and a bit of a capsule wardrobe video, then please do let me know in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed and you've made it this far, please do click the subscribe button. I would absolutely love to see you in the next one and have you join the family. Take care. Bye.